I'm Dr. Mehdi Akbarian, and I'm a postdoc at MIT. One of my big research questions looks at vehicle fuel consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. When people think about fuel efficiency, they often think about their vehicle's miles per gallon rating, which is the number on the dealer's window sticker. To see the full picture of fuel efficiency, we have to go beyond what's going on under the hood and think about what's going on under the vehicle's tires. More specifically, the interplay between the vehicle and the road. We call this phenomenon pavement vehicle interaction, or PVI. All vehicles, whether they're gasoline, diesel, or electric, use energy to move. But they only get to use some of that energy. A lot of it gets wasted. Some of the waste is due to engine losses and shows up as heat, or is caused by factors like air drag. But road surface conditions and structural properties also contribute significantly. PVI research looks at three factors, texture, which relates to surface friction between the tire and the road, roughness, which refers to how bumpy or smooth the road is, think about cracks and potholes, and deflection, which refers to the bending of a pavement under the weight of a moving vehicle. Imagine riding a bicycle on a sandy beach versus a paved trail and what that feels like. Trucks experience a similar effect when driving on a road that is structurally weak. The impacts of excess fuel consumption depend on a variety of factors, including vehicle type, location, pavement design, and maintenance schedules. But we found that better planning and maintenance efforts, for example activities that make roads smoother and stiffer, can lessen CO2 emissions and costs. To understand this impact better, we have studied real roadway networks to identify improvement strategies for users and agencies. In a study with the California Department of Transportation, we looked at five years of operations across all 50,000 lane miles of state highways. We found that roughness and deflection have caused a 2.5% increase in vehicle fuel consumption, translating to over 1 billion gallons of wasted fuel. Another study, this one conducted in Virginia, looked at seven years of data from the Commonwealth 5,000 lane mile interstate system and identified 1 million tons of PVI-induced CO2 emissions. We observed that proper maintenance of only 1.3% of the interstate system would lead to a 10% reduction in total greenhouse gas emissions, meaning rehab of only 65 lane miles would result in significant environmental improvements across the whole network. In summary, roads significantly impact vehicle fuel consumption and emissions. This contribution of PVI will become more significant in the coming decades as vehicles become more efficient with electric and hybrid powertrains. Learn more by visiting cshub.mit.edu.